Hello, everyone. Unlike other cybersecurity companies, Fortinet's products are designed to work together in a cohesive fashion. The Fortinet security fabric is at the center of Fortinet's cybersecurity strategy. It is the industry's highest performing and most expansive cybersecurity platform, organically built on a common management and security framework. 40 OS ties all the fabric's security and networking components together to ensure seamless integration. This enables the convergence of networking and security functions to deliver a consistent user experience and resilient security posture across all manner of environments. It's built on these three key attributes, broad, integrated, and automated. And with that, I'll dive right into the demo where I'll show how hosts that have been compromised will automatically be quarantined and isolated from the network through a feature called an automation stitch. Automating workflows or creating an automation stitch, as Fortinet calls it, empowers organizations to enhance their security posture, respond faster to security incidents, and improve operational efficiency. So here's my security fabric. In the security fabric, one FortiGate must be selected as the root device. And you can see that mine is the HQ FortiGate, which is the one I'm logged into. From the root FortiGate, you can manage and have visibility on the entire security fabric. For my downstream FortiGates, they are at different branch locations throughout California. Notice here at the Fresno location, along with the FortiGate, I have a 40 switch and 40 clients on the LAN. This video will focus on that location. Each device in the fabric is sending its logs to the 40 analyzer, and that includes the 40 clients. I want to now show that there are currently no compromised hosts detected on the root FortiGate. Sometime later, we revisit the root FortiGate, and now it is reporting that there are a couple of compromised hosts. I can double click on an entry and see what the exact behavior was that led to the device being labeled as compromised. We can see that these machines were visiting sites that they shouldn't have been. It looks like they were trying to download malware from known malicious sites. The security fabric responded by having these hosts automatically quarantined and isolated from the network. We can see that in the quarantine monitor. Let's have a closer look at the Fresno FortiGate. If we mouse over the 240 client quarantine devices, you'll notice that it shows EMS quarantined. The other two hosts show just quarantined. And you can see under description that it says quarantined by automation stitch quarantine. On the root FortiGate is where all the fabric automation is configured. For this demo, I created the automation stitch aptly named Quarantine. An automation stitch is comprised of a trigger and one or more actions. Here I have the trigger as a compromised host and the actions are the 40 switch NAP quarantine, which is a layer two quarantine and the 40 client quarantine. That's why you saw that the 40 clients showed EMS quarantined. With the automation stitch, there are many other events you can use as a trigger. You can use any log message, which makes the automation stitches very powerful. And there are even more actions that can be selected. You can send a notification via Slack, Microsoft Teams, or 40 Explorer or even an email so that the security personnel can be notified. This is in addition to the quarantine actions that you saw in the demo. To recap, I wanna quickly go over all the components of the security fabric working together. 
First, FortiGuard Labs is distributing its threat intelligence throughout the security fabric. This provides consistent protection across the different attack services. In this demo, this is how the FortiGates and the Forti Analyzer knew that the websites accessed by the compromised hosts were malicious. The FortiGates are the centerpieces of the security fabric. The Forti switch is an extension of the FortiGate at the Fresno location. And we saw that the automation stitch quarantined the devices at the access layer by their MAC addresses. This indicates that malware can be detected at the switch port. No other vendor has this capability. And extending the fabric down to the end host is the 40 client. The 40 analyzer plays a crucial role. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, all the logs are sent to the 40 analyzer. It's a component that actually determines if a host is compromised through log and threat correlation. That feature is called Indicators of Compromise, or IOC for short. When the 40 analyzer discovers an IOC, it immediately notifies the root FortiGate, and the root FortiGate executes the quarantine automation stitch. Now, why is the automation stitch an important feature? Okay, when there's a network security event, the administrator or the person in charge of that network is notified. They're usually notified by email, SMS, or they're visually alerted by a monitoring system. But what if that administrator is on a break, getting lunch, or just unavailable? Well, that's a window of opportunity that provides attackers all the time that they need. By having the automation stitch in place, it offers an immediate response and immediate mitigation. This video is an example of how automation plays a crucial role in your security strategy by enhancing efficiency, accuracy, and responsiveness of your security operations. Okay, that wraps up this presentation. I hope you found it informative and thank you for watching.